What's up? How you doing? Here I am again. This time we're gonna test a little bit this beautiful, freshly restored Sony TC, TCK 611S. Three head, three motor transport mechanism with Dolby S noise reduction system. And right now I'm playing the tape that I recorded on this deck. It's an old tape, but it's recorded very nicely. Um, DJ Mix, you know me, I like to record DJ Mixes. So yeah, uh, I did try to test everything else. As you can see, the deck has automatic automatic music search. So you can like a skip to the, if you are playing and you want to skip to the three tracks, you can just press three times. Counter will show you, you can go back up how many tracks you want to skip because this tape is mixed. We're not going to have any results, but we have beautiful uh, peak meter display with a counter. You can reset counter, you know, like it shows you uh, the type of the tape, one, two or four and how long you can record. Basically, if you can stick before red, that would be fine. Now we are going a little bit over, but you know how it goes. Uh, especially with Dolby S, you can go a little bit more, of course. So yeah, it's very neat. It's working just fine. All belts are replaced. Also pinch roller. So now it, it will serve many years to come. What else do we have here? Of course, open close. Uh, we have a light. You can see the cassette tape backdoor light. Uh, the beauty, Dolby B, C, and S. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, monitor because we have three head and calibration, uh, bias and recording level. Plus we have recording knob, level knob and balance and phone level for the headphone output. As you can see, it's really in mint condition. If you ask me, there are no scratches here. Couple of them on the cover here. Ah, you can hear New York City noise. Uh, yeah, a couple of them on the cover, but if you put some other component on top of it, it's gonna be very good mint, like new. So yeah, I did, I did uh, recorded one tape already on it, and it's working just fine. Now we're gonna use a little bit, not so good tape, let's say, not so, not the quality like XL2. Keep it quiet, my dog is making the, the, the problem. Let's see what was that. The door was not opening. No, it was me. I have to wait a little bit because before I press the... It's gonna rain and maybe you're gonna hear some thunders, but who cares? We can do some tests. So this is SD90. So it's kind of a little bit less than SA90. And instead of Maxell, now I'm having TDK. So TDK will perform a little bit less than that one, but who cares? This deck probably can record all of them. Let's see what was on the tape. Ah, not bad. All this. All right. Now we have something new. Uh, before record anything, we're gonna do calibration. So I'm gonna put it in a record mode and I'm gonna press play. So we are in the recording mode. Now we have two lines uh, and we have two knobs to adjust. Like uh, I'm gonna zoom my out a little bit. So this is, uh -huh, the tape is bad. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit. It's, it's an old tape, I know. Probably chewed or something, but we'll do the job. So if I move bias a little bit, you see that the bias is going left or right. That's the top bar. Now it's like a where it should be. Now if I move recording level, it will happen that, you know, like it, it, the both lines will move. So now recording level here is in the middle. You see it's lacking a little bit. So I'm going to put it a little bit on the right so I can fix it. Right. And then I'm going to wiggle bias to make the bias. Oopsie. The tape is going out. I know, it's not the good tape. But hey, we can make it, we can make it. We're gonna use maybe other tape to try another thing. 
Uh, you know why we can make it? Because if if I can make it to, to be like this, hold on. Uh, the tape is bad, I know. That's why we have variation. But now, almost there, huh? Almost there. I think we got it. Let's see if it's gonna record. Record Dolby S. Reset tape it. Source tape. Ah, very good. Even with this lousy thing. Tape source. Maybe I pump it up a little bit more than I should. Could be. It's oscillating. But it's working just fine. Yeah. Oh. The dynamic is great. You know why? Because of the Dolby S. I can see now 85 decibels with Dolby S. Wow and flutter is 0.05%. And we have a 20 to 20 kilohertz with metal tape, which means that it's getting pretty good results with the crumb tapes. And yeah, I did record this one and it sounds better. So what would be if I open this one? Brand new Axel 2. Who knows? I'm not going to open it because I have 30 other <laughs> tapes that I'm going to use before I open that. I don't need brand new tapes because I know if you use brand new tape, everything is working just fine. You have to test your equipment on, on some other, you know, not so good tapes. Uh, let's see the other side. Maybe we're gonna have more stable result with calibration on the other side. Oh, it's even worse. Oh no, let's put it in the... Yeah, it's even worse. You see how bad is the other side? Yeah, that means the tape is chewed. Oh, it is, it is, yeah. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's the tape is disaster. The tape is disaster. But don't worry, I got plenty of other tapes. You see how on this A side it, you can do it, but on the B side is ruined. It's ruined on the B side. He, we can do it here. Yeah, now it's kind of okay, you know. Let's see if I put my hand in this crazy box full of tapes. What else that we can find? Oh no, it's the same thing, but even older. Ah, all right, let's give it a try. Ah, the same thing, even older. Man, SD, but who knows? Oh, look at that trick. Okay, without Dolby, reggae. It's not bad. It's not, even, it's not that bad. The recording is not that bad. But we can do better. Let's see if this tape is decent. Calibration. Not so, huh? No, this is even the older, but maybe it's good. Who knows? I don't care if it's older, if it can be recorded. Look at this. It's very stable. It's so stable that I don't need to do anything else. And I think I got it. Let's try to record something. Let's do BS. Tape source. Tape. You can hear a little bit clear more on source. Tape is a little bit more kind of, you know, not that clear. But still, I'm pumping this very old tape to the some. Let's try to put it a little on the on the some lower levels. No, it can take it. It can take it. Yes. So you know me. I'm using all kind of tricks here. Sometimes I would record with Dolby B and try to play without Dolby. I know that's my 
trademark. <laughs> Let's see. Just a couple of seconds, 10 seconds. I don't need more, 15. That was monitor, tape actually, this is source. Okay, let's go back and play it without Dolby. Now. Good. It's not dynamic like the, when you're playing with Dolby S, but it's working just fine. So what I'm gonna do about those smudges, I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm using my magic, magic clothing and there are no, no more smudges. <laughs> No, this one is working just fine. And I let it go in the play mode. Uh, we can do a little bit more of recording. Uh, oh, this, this track is lit. Told yes, right away. Pump it up. Yeah, give it to me. Tape. Source. So let the bias go a little bit left if you want more highs. See what I mean? Now it's almost the same. Hold on, there is one debate. Some people would say, no, I don't like automatic calibration because I want to set it up with my ears. I trust more my ears. And I'm the one of them. If, you, if I need to have an automatic calibration, but only automatic without those knobs I would prefer to have only knobs without calibration I don't see the line I can make it I'll adjust it with my ears but on this deck you don't have to use calibration button you can only adjust bias recording level with your ears so I don't mind to have it because I can do it automatically or I can do it manually whatever I choose in this last occasion I set it up automatically but I decided I'm going to give a little bit of highs. I just moved my bias on the left. You don't have to, but that was my decision. You know what I mean? So that's why I think this deck is very good. And it's so neat the, that, I mean, it's almost like new. Front plate and all that stuff is almost, almost like new. Maybe there is some blemish on the uh, recording level knob. But that's it. Excellent, excellent unit. All right, take care.